Yo, 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 what up, YouTube? It's your boy, Brandon710, BB Hero, the Drunken Assassin, whatever you guys want to call me. We're going to be doing my Marvel comic book collection for March 30th, 2024. Happy Easter. Let's get into it. Um, hope you guys enjoy the video. If you do, make sure to leave a like, comment down below what key Marvel comics you have in your collection, and subscribe to the channel. So, yeah. Starting off, we got right here, 1994's Marvel's Issue 1. Great Alex Ross cover right here. Next off, we got Namor Sub... Um, or just Sub Manor right here. Um, issue 25 from 1971, I believe. My oldest comic in my whole collection right there. Then we got Namor the Sub Manor Annual 4 right here. Amazing Harrison cover right here. And then we got... Marvel Comics presents Wolverine issue 90. Amazing Sam Kit cover right here with Wolverine. Um, also featuring a Ghost Rider and Cable Story on the back. Then we got Marvel Comics presents issue 100. Another great Sam Kit cover this time with Wolverine and Ghost Rider. Amazing. Then we got, speaking of Wolverine and Ghost Rider, we got Fantastic Four 349. Third appearance of the new Fantastic Four, I believe. Um, that's the team with Hulk, Ghost Rider, Wolverine, and Spider-Man. But, yeah. Next off, we got FF4 371. Weird gimmick cover of the 90s right here. Then we got Fantastic Four 384 right here. Then we got Fantastic Four Volume 2, Issue 1. Amazing Jim Lee cover right here. Almost reminiscent of X-Man issue 1 from the 90s run that Jim Lee did. Then we got FF4 volume 2, issue 2. Another fantastic Jim Lee cover with Namor. Then we're going to move on to the Amazing Spider-Man comics and just the Spidey comics in general. So first off, we got ASM 250, Amazing John Romita Jr. cover right here with Spidey and the Hobgoblin. Also, 250th issue right there. Then we got ASM 258, New Stand Edition. This is the issue where Peter finds out that the symbiote suit is actually alive. Um, and also where he gets the makeshift costume with the Fantastic Four suit and plastic um, or paper bag over his head, should I say. Then we got Web of Spider-Man issue 1. Iconic cover right here first issue of the web of spider-man series and the issue where peter gets rid of the symbiote for good and it goes on eddie brock um who later becomes venom then we got web of spider-man issue 18 new stand edition first cameo appearance of eddie brock his hand pushes peter parker into a subway or an oncoming i think it's a train or a subway that he gets pushed into that's coming towards him um then we got Web of Spider-Man 29, um, cast starring Wolverine. This is where um, Peter has the homemade black suit right there. Very awesome. Then we got Web of Spider-Man 38, newsstand edition. Um, classic Hobgoblin cover right there. Then we got ASM 328, last McFarlane cover on Amazing Spider-Man. An iconic cover right here with Spider-Man infused with Cosmic Cube punches Hulk. Then we got ASM 332, just a great Eric Larson Venom cover right there. Then we got Spider-Man issue one, solo Tom McFarlane series, iconic um, McFarlane cover right there. Then we got Spider-Man issue three, issue nine, amazing Spider-Man Wolverine cover by McFarlane. Then we got... ASM 347, iconic Eric Larson Venom cover right here. Then we got Spider-Man issue 11, another great Wolverine Spider-Man McFarlane cover. Then we got Spider-Man issue 17, awesome Spider-Man in the hands of Thanos right there with the Infinity Gauntlet. Then we got Web of Spider-Man issue 90, newsstand edition. First technical appearance of Spider-Man 2099 as this came out a few months before asm um 365 that or a few weeks one of the two but yeah first actual appearance of spider-man 2099 
Um, his first full appearance, though, is Spider-Man 2099 right here, issue one. Then we got issue two. Then we got Venom Lethal Protector, issue one, my first ever comic that I ever bought. Then we got issue three. Issue four, first appearance of Scream and cameo appearance of the other symbiotes. And issue six, a great cover where Venom just looks like a xenomorph right there, almost, you know. Um, then we got Venom Funeral Pyre, issue one, guest starring the Punisher. Then we got Spectacular Spider-Man 203, part of the Maximum Carnage storyline. Then we got Spider-Man, issue 52, first technical full appearance of the Scarlet Spider-Man. His first actual appearance is in Web of Spider-Man 118, but the first time he's mentioned by name as Scarlet Spider-Man is this issue. And just an awesome cover of Ben Riley versus Venom. Then we got Spider-Man issue 53, another awesome cover of Ben Riley versus Venom. Then we got the spectacular Spider-Man 219. Um, these are all part of the Clone Saga um, storyline right here. This is part of, well, the last two were from the Exile Returns. And then this is the back from the Edge story right here, guest starring Daredevil. Then we got Amazing Spider-Man 403, Trial Peter Parker, awesome Mark Bagley carnage cover right there then we got amazing spider-man 404 maximum clonage um awesome bagley ben riley versus peter cover right there spectacular spider-man 228 time bomb um interesting controversial issue where peter hits mary jane in this very very weird then we got asm 405 um, Exile Part 2, um, awesome Bagley, Ben Riley cover, and first cameo appearance of the female, um, Dr. Octopus. Then we got ASM 406, part of the Great Responsibility story, um, first full appearance of that female Dr. Octopus. Then we got The Amazing Scarlet Spider, um, this is when they tried to do that whole relaunch like they did with, um, Age of Apocalypse, but instead of it lasting four months, it lasted two because of how bad the Clone Saga was doing. Then we got ASM 407 Return of Peter Parker, new stand edition right there. Then we got um, Spectacular Spider-Man 230, again, just Return of Peter to the Spectacular series. Then we got ASM 420 Blaze It, guest starring X-Man right there. Awesome cover right here. Then we got ASM 441, final issue of Volume 1 right here. Very, very happy to have in the collection. Then we got ASM Volume 2, Issue 1. Awesome right here. Then we got ASM Volume 2, Issue 35, Legacy Number 476. First um, issue where fucking... Aunt May finally realizes that Peter is Spider-Man. Then we got ASM Volume 2, Issue 38, Legacy Number 479. Um, awesome cover right here. Then we got ASM Volume 2, 43, Legacy Number 484. Um, awesome Ramita Jr. cover. Then we go back into it being Volume 1. So we got ASM Volume 1, Issue 529, first appearance of the Iron Spider-Man suit. Then we got ASM Volume 1, Issue 700. Again, the last issue of Amazing Spider-Man. This is where Dr. Octopus is in Peter's body, and Peter's in Dr. Octopus's body, and he dies, and Dr. Octopus becomes the Superior Spider-Man. First cameo appearance of Superior Spider-Man as well. So that's it with the Spider-Man shit. Now we're going to go on to just the Avengers guys. Um, starting off with Avengers Volume 1, Issue... What issue is this? Uh, 391, I believe, right here. Awesome cover. Only got it because it's a dope cover. Um, then we got Avengers Volume 2, Issue 1, Life Field cover right here. Then we got Issue 2 of Volume 2. 
Then we got issue three of volume two. Cool cover with um, Kang versus four and Captain. Then we got volume two, issue four. Interesting life uh, cover right here. Then we got um, Avengers Volume 3, Issue 2. Um, this is the variant cover right here. Then we got Volume 3, Issue 3 right here. Um, amazing George Perez cover right here with Wonder Man, Back from the Dead. Then we got Volume 3, Issue 11. Another awesome cover with um, deceased Marvel characters. Then we got Captain America um, volume 1, issue 332. This is the issue where Cap resigns. And then we got issue 336, newsstand edition. Search for Steve Rogers. Um, first cameo appearance of the Cap. And then we got 337, newsstand edition. Avengers 4, um, homage cover right here. First full appearance of Steve Rogers as the Cap. And then we got 363. Like the third or fourth appearance of Crossbones and like the second full cover appearance of Crossbones right here. And then we got issue 369, first appearance of the Skeleton Crew. Then we got issue 445 right here. Um, this is like around the start of the Mark Wade run on Captain America. Also just a dope cover right there. And then we got Iron Man. 165, Volume 1. And then we got 176. Awesome cover right there. Then we got 183. And then we got 254. Ho Ho Homicide. Awesome cover with him versus a Santa Claus killer or some shit like that. And then we got Iron Man Volume 2, Issue 1. And then we got Volume 2, Issue 2 right there versus the hulk pretty cool cover and speaking of the hulk we got incredible hulk volume one um 267 new stand edition first cameo appearance of brian banner then we got 299 new stand edition awesome hulk versus doctor strange cover then we got incredible hulk 311 new stand awesome mike manoa cover then we got 390 right here Hulk shooting off a gun and then we got 393 Hulk issue 1 homage cover right here um, 30th anniversary issue right here and then we got 410 guest starring Nick Fury 416 then we got 417 new stand awesome cover right here and then we got 426 and we got 436 right here. Awesome cover on the side. Then we got 446. Post on slot, post banner. First issue where banner and Hulk are separated. Then we got 460. This is where banner and Hulk become one again. Then we got 468 right here. Then we got Mighty Four, Volume 1, Issue 331, New Stand. Then we got 334, New Stand. 339, Third Appearance, Beta Ray Bill, First Appearance of Stormbreaker, New Stand. Then we got 340, 394, 429, Guest Starring the Juggernaut. Um, rematch of the two, homage to 4126, I believe, with the cover. Guest starring Ghost Rider as well. Then we got 433, new stand. We got 439, 442, awesome cover with Beta Ray. Then we got 449. Then we got 452, another 4126, homage cover. Then we got 458, another 4126 homage cover. Then we got 460, a great Harrison cover right there. 461, another great Beta Ray Bill cover. 462, 463, 
four, sixty four, sixty five, six, seven, eight. Awesome cover with um Silver Surfer right there. Four sixty nine. 470, 471, another great cover right there. 475, um, awesome Harrison cover right there. Newsstand edition. Then we got 491, awesome cover. 497. Then we got issue 502, last issue of volume one right there. Very awesome to have. Not only the last issue of ASM Volume 1, but also for Volume 1 at their respective times. Then we got Mighty 4, Volume 2, number 38. Legacy number 540. Issue 39. Legacy number 541. Issue 41. Legacy number 543. Awesome cover right there. And issue 42. Legacy number 544. Whew. Now we're going to move it to the X-Men comics. Uh, and I'm going through all of these for chronological release dates. So the years that they came out. Starting off with Uncanny X-Men. 136. Iconic, iconic X-Men cover right there. Whoops, give me a sec. But yeah, 136 on Candy X Man. We got an iconic cover right here, part of the Dark Phoenix storyline. Then we move to 210. First cameo appearance of the Marauders, newsstand edition. Uh, also a great John Romita Jr. cover. Then we got another great Romita Jr. cover right here, newsstand 211. First full appearance of the Marauders. And just an awesome Wolverine cover and the Marvel 25th Anniversary Border logo. Now we got New Mutants 87, second print, first appearance of Cable. Then we got issue 90 right here, New Mutants. Then we got Wolverine, um, issue 41, guest starring Sabretooth and Cable. Then we got X-Factor 68, newsstand edition, cameo appearance, with um, Baby Cable, I believe. Then we got Wolverine 43. Just an awesome cover right there. X-Force issue 1. First issue of the X-Force um, volume right here. Then we got issue 2. Second appearance of Deadpool. X-Factor 71. First appearance of the new team for X-Factor. Then we got Uncanny X-Man 281. First appearance of the gold team, I believe. Then we got X-Men issue 1, iconic Jim Lee cover right here. First appearance of the blue team, I believe. Um, correct me in the comics if I confuse the two team names for the two respective series, but yeah. Then we got X-Men issue 2, another just awesome Jim Lee cover with Magneto. Then we got Uncanny X-Men 282, first cameo, first full appearance, whichever one you want to call it of bishop i like to say the first appearance of bishop because even though he's on the last page of the comic he's on the cover of the issue and he's not like even in the goddamn issue to the last page so like call it what you want you know then we got x-force issue five like the fourth appearance of deadpool right here and just an awesome mcfarlane um brotherhood cover right here then we got Uncanny X-Men 284, third appearance of Bishop. Then we got Uncanny X-Men 288, an awesome Bishop cover right there. Then we got X-Force issue 8, first appearance of Domino right here, of the real Domino as well. Awesome, um, awesome life field cover right there. Then we got X-Force issue 15. Awesome Great Capallo cover. First, also a Great Capallo X Force issue and awesome Deadpool versus Cable cover. Then we got Cable um, issue one, part of the Blood and Metal two parter. Cool Ramita Jr. cover. 
which then leads into like going from X Force 15 leads into this, that leads into Uncanny X Band 294, part of the Executioner's Song Part 1, awesome cable cover right here. Then we got X Factor 86, Executioner's Song Part 10, awesome apocalypse cover. Then we got <clears throat> Magneto Issue 0, cool one shot Magneto. Um, this is like a Bill. I, I'm not even going to try pronunciate his last name because I'm going to fuck up. But it's the awesome dude that did the um, Moon Knight covers from the 80s. But yeah, awesome to have in the collection. Um, then we got Uncanny X-Men issue 300. Um, cool Ramita Jr. cover. 300th anniversary. Or 300th issue. Like special right here. Pretty dope. Then we got Sabretooth issue 1. New stand edition. Awesome, awesome comic to have. Then we got Deadpool The Circle Chase, issue one. First solo Deadpool um, miniseries right here. Then we got issue two of The Circle Chase. Then we got X-Force 27, another cool Greg Capallo cover. Then we got X-Men 25, Fatal Attractions. This is the issue where Magneto pulls out the um, Adamanium from Wolverine's body and you can't go wrong with that with a wolverine 75 part of the fatal attraction storyline and let's just see if i can get the holographic card to show up for this let's see there's the wolverine one on wolverine 75 and then for x-man 25 let's see if i can show the gambit but yeah this one Again, Magneto pulls out the adamanium from Wolverine's body. And this issue, you find out that Wolverine's claws are actually bone and not adamanium, which stays for a while. Stupid retcon that they did slash change, but fuck it. Then we got Gambit issue one, first solo Gambit series right there. Then we got issue two. Then we got Uncanny X-Man 316. X-Man... 38, 39, Bishop issue 1, first solo Bishop series, Candy X-Men 320, Legion's Quest part 1, X-Men 40, Legion's Quest part 2, and iconic Legion cover right there, Uncanny X-Men 321, Legion's Quest part 3, then we got X-Men Alpha, first appearance of the whole Age of Apocalypse world and characters, then we got Weapon X issue 1, two three and four then we got x-men omega right here end of the age of apocalypse story then we got x-men prime first appearance of x-men dark beast and holocaust in the um marvel 616 universe then we got x-force issue 44 um, I forget this character's name, but he leaves the X-Force team and joins the Uncanny X-Man. Then we got Uncanny X-Man 322, first mention of Onslaught by name right here. Then we got X-Man issue 44, um, anniversary issue. Uncanny X-Man 325, um, anniversary issue. Then we got Uncanny X-Man 327, first appearance of Joseph Magneto's clone right there. Then we got X-Force issue 50, anniversary issue. Then we got X-Man issue 51. Then we got Uncanny X-Man 334. Then we got X-Men Onslaught. Marvel Onslaught. Um, this is where Fantastic Four... And the Avengers end up in the Heroes Reborn universe. And also where Banner and Hulk get separated from one another. Then we got X-Factor 128. Then we got Deadpool issue 6 of volume 1. And Deadpool issue 28, Gastrain Bullseye. Whew. And now, for the last category, we're going with the more 
street level or more adult themed characters in the Marvel Universe. Starting off, we got our boy Wolverine issue 48, um, part one for the sequel to Weapon X. Wolverine issue 59, iconic cover right there. Issue 62, issue 65. Issue 82, which, in my opinion, is one of the best covers in comic book history right there. Very, very awesome. Then we got issue 90. Um, or no, this is 91 right here. Yep, issue 91. My bad. Then we got issue 95. 102. Which is a cool cover with Wolverine after that whole, like, little... Um, feral design that they tried to do in the mid 90s right there then we got issue 107 then we get um next off we got deathlock issue six guest starring the punisher then we got nomad um issue four newsstand first appearance at deadpool outside of the x-man comics right there then we got ghost rider issue six guest starring go um punisher then we got Ghost Rider issue 13, awesome cover. Then we got Ghost Rider Spirits of Vengeance issue 6, iconic Venom cover right there. Then we got Ghost Rider 2099 issue 1, first appearance of Ghost Rider 2099. Then we got um, Daredevil 179, iconic Frank Miller cover right there. Then we got Daredevil 181, iconic cover and newsstand as well, but this is also the death of Elektra right here. Then we got Daredevil 183, iconic Frank Miller cover. First um, meeting between Daredevil and the Punisher right there. Then we got Daredevil 187, another iconic Daredevil cover. We got Daredevil 193, um, little homage to The Shining. Awesome Klaus Jansen cover as well. Speaking of cool Klaus Jansen covers, we got Daredevil 196, newsstand. First meeting between Daredevil and Wolverine. Then we got Daredevil issue 200. Iconic cover versus Daredevil and Bullseye. Um, also, this is the last battle between the two for quite a bit. As Bullseye doesn't return until Captain America issue 373, I believe. And doesn't come back into the Daredevil comics until 284. Yeah. Next off, we got Daredevil issue 257, awesome Romita Jr. cover of Daredevil and Punisher, with the Twin Towers in the background as well, new stand edition. Then we got Daredevil 284, the return of Bullseye into the Daredevil comics right here. Um, but again, he comes back in Captain America 373, I believe. Then we got Daredevil issue 300, awesome, awesome cover. Then we got Daredevil 321. I believe this is the first appearance of the black and red Daredevil suit that he has. Also, guest starring Venom. And just an awesome cover. I believe it's a wraparound or some shit like that, but it's an awesome 90s gimmick cover. Then we got Daredevil 326. Pretty cool cover. Then we got Punisher issue 10. Um, part of volume 2. Guest starring Daredevil first part of that story um right there the second part is that daredevil 256 then we got punisher issue 75 awesome awesome cover right there then we got punisher war journal issue 2 guest starring daredevil then we got issue 6 newsstand first battle between wolverine and punisher awesome wolverine jim lee cover as well then we got issue 7 of the two-parter right here. Another awesome Jim Lee cover. But the first team-up between the two. Um, then we got Punisher War Journal, issue 29. Awesome Punisher Ghost Rider cover right there. Whoops. Then we got Punisher War Journal, issue 31, 34, and 36. All have great covers right here then we got punisher year one issue one issue two issue three and issue four 
outside of having amazing covers, this is one of the best Punisher stories right here. If you ever get the chance to grab it, pick it up. Amazing right there. And then we got Punisher Volume 5, Issue 1. First issue of the Garth Ennis Punisher run right here. Amazing, amazing cover right there. Then we got Issue 2, variant cover. Also part of the Marvel Knights line as well. Then we got Issue 3, amazing Punisher Daredevil cover. Then we're jumping all the way to Issue 10, Issue 11, and to end off Volume 5, Issue 12. But yeah, that's it for the Marvel comic book collection of March 30th, 2024. Have a happy Easter. Have a great weekend. Again, let me know in the comments down below what key Marvel comics you have in your collection. And see you in the next one for the DC comic book collection. It's been your boy Brandon710, BB Hero, the Drunk Assassin, whatever you guys want to call me. Have a good one.